Hey guys, it's PrimeScore from Shockbite, and today I'm going to show you how to install a custom jar to your Minecraft server. For whatever reason, if you need to install a custom jar, because we don't have one um, the in our uh, extensive list of server jars on our, uh, on our um, Multicraft page, uh, installing a custom one is super easy. So step one is to obviously download the jar that you want to install to your Minecraft server. And once you have that jar uh, downloaded, you're going to need to right click on it and you have to rename it to custom and make sure it is all lowercase. Do not uppercase, capitalize any part of it. It all has to be lowercase. Otherwise, uh, the server is going to have a hard time finding the custom jar. And once you renamed it to custom all lowercase, you can open up your FTP client of choice. We recommend FileZilla. We just op uh, uploaded a new tutorial on how to use FileZilla. Um, so if you don't know how to use it, please take a quick look at that tutorial and then come back here. And so once you've connected to your uh, server, uh, we're going to want to grab our custom jar file and we're going to drag and drop it. And so we can upload it to our server directory. And so we're going to upload this custom jar to our server directory. And once that's done, we're going to be able to, uh, we're going to have to go to our server panel and uh, enable custom jars. So our custom jar is done uploading to our server directory. And once your custom jar is done uploading, you're going to head to your server panel, as we said before. And we're going to go scroll down a bit until we see server type. And so you want to select this drop down menu and you're going to have to scroll all the way to the top um, and click on custom jar. This is the main one, the recommended version um, you should select. And so we're going to select custom jar. And as you can see right below it, it changes uh, the words down here uh, to custom dot jar. So as you remember, we renamed our custom jar uh, to all lowercase custom. And so uh, this just tells the server right here which jar file to load. And so that's why we needed it all lowercase custom. So it matches up directly with this line right here. And it automatically saves after um, uh, you select this. I'm just going to save again. And then you can just restart your server. And it's going to shut down your server and then load up the new jar and uh, install all of the recommended files. Uh, uh, the um, required files, I should say, uh, required to run your new uh, custom jar. Um, so you can go to the console over here and then we can watch it um, uh, install the new jar. And perfect, our new jar installed correctly and our server is now running perfectly. Um, installing a custom mod pack is uh, much more complicated than just uploading a, a custom jar. We have um, several tutorials on our YouTube channel uh, that discuss and uh, show you how to install uh, Feed the Beast mod packs and AT Launcher mod packs and uh, all different types of mod packs. So please check out those tutorials uh, if you need to install a mod pack. This tutorial just shows you how to install a custom jar. So for example, I installed Minecraft, uh, the spigot version of Minecraft for 1.13.2. Um, and so I can now go on and upload plugins and all that and use whatever spigot 1.13.2 gives me that vanilla Minecraft it didn't. So if you, any, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Otherwise, do not hesitate to head over to shockbite.com and send us a ticket. Otherwise, thank you for watching. <laughs>